In this video, we're going to integrate e to the z plus one, all divided by e to the z plus z with respect to z. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. I'm going to start by writing down the problem again. So we have the integral of e to the z plus one, all divided by e to the z plus z, dz. The first thing you should think about in this problem is, is there a substitution you can make? And the answer is yes, if you let u be the piece on the bottom. So if we set u equal to e to the z plus z, good things happen. Let's see, let's differentiate both sides of this equation. On the left hand side, we'll get du. And on the right hand side, the derivative of e to the z is e to the z. So this is e to the z. And then the derivative of z is one, so we have a plus one. Then parentheses, parentheses, and then we have a dz. This works out perfectly, right? This is exactly what's in our integrand. It's just nice. Now we can go ahead and rewrite what we have. It becomes the integral of. So this entire top piece here is just gonna be du. So it's du over, and then on the bottom we just have u. Then we can use a super powerful formula that says if you have the integral of one over u with respect to u, you get the natural log of the absolute value of u plus our constant of integration. u is equal to e to the z plus z. So in the next step, we can replace our u with e to the z plus z. So this is the natural log, the absolute value of e to the z plus z and we have our constant of integration, capital C. And so this would be final answer. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Until next time, good luck.